My name's Abby. I'm 32 years old. My name is Fernando. I'm 32 years old. We're based out of Austin, Texas. And this is Financial Audit. So we have a married couple here. What do y'all do for a living right now? So I currently work in construction at uh, Tesla. Oh, at Tesla. That's cool. What's your position? So I'm a subcontractor there. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a journeyman for sheet metal. Interesting. Interesting. Is that hard? <laughs> it's it's not that bad. It's, oh, okay. it's not as difficult as some of the other construction jobs I've had. But uh, it's it's uh, the at least the schedule is is the one thing that is yeah kind of that plant's huge and created a lot of jobs here, which oh, is yeah. kind of cool. Um, and what do you do for Lou? I just got fired recently. I was working for Apple for the past six years. I was doing a master's online to try to move up through operations. I'm continuing my master's program. Yeah. On the side, I hustle on Angie's listing on a uh, workup. I'm also on Fiverr doing freelance work, either for writing with AI tools or mm. creating resumes, anything. What was I'll your clean position? your toilet. Oh no, what was your position? I was doing partner relations. Partner relations, okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your master's in? Business Agility. administration. Okay, very cool. Okay, so that could definitely be utilized for sure. I'm sorry you got, so you uh, in that whole like multiple rounds of tech companies that said they overhired during the pandemic is that kind of what this was or was this a specific like targeted firing that's a really good question that i still have i want to believe that um i delivered my best work yeah um but um i did get fired laid off or fired though i got fired oh i'm really sorry that sucks it does. So, did you get any severance? No. Yeah, okay. Okay. So lots of side hustles since then mm -hmm. to essentially or combine into a full hustle. Or mm -hmm. even then, yeah. So job hunt? Yes. How's I'm actively job hunting, applying. Um, like I shared with you, I'll do pretty much anything, whether it's like cleaning houses, cooking, um, going to meetups, going to interviews, going out of town for like networking events. What have the jobs um, you've been applying to? I've applied for um, other tech companies. I've applied for um, financial institutes like Charles Schwab. Mm -hmm. um, I asked Fernando if by any chance there was any opportunity to learn some construction so mm -hmm. that I can get some skin in the game. And um, right now I'm also studying real estate online trying really? to yeah trying to learn new skills unlearn um the nine to five so that i can do something for myself yeah real estate's always an interesting thing i love real estate it's so it's just so oversaturated with people who want to do it uh but i mean certainly if you know you end up being good at it there's some there's nothing wrong with that as well how many jobs do you say you'd apply for on a weekly basis on average well i did apply for unemployment so at a minimum four, but any opportunity that comes up, I'm applying for periodically on Indeed, on LinkedIn. Periodically, okay. Or even like anybody that I know, I will ask actively, like, hey, are they hiring? I brought my resume if you want to check it out. <laughs> sure, I can take a look at it. Uh, um, how critical is the dual income aspect of this household and the lack of it right now? now I know there are side hustles happening, but... Over the last two months, how big of a hit has this been to the household? The uh, uh, since she got uh, removed from Apple, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's been we there there has been a, li a little more weight, or I have felt a little more weight on me since taking over the uh, both of our uh, bills and stuff. But um, wait, did you guys have individualized bills? So you weren't dealing yes. with it as a household? And not to begin for with? a long time. Wait, yeah. how long have you all been married? Two years. Why haven't things been kind of, you know, like targeted as a partnership in a group? It was mostly me. I was the one setting up a lot of resistance for that. Why? So I've been, uh, it's, it's mostly been me to where I like my independence and I've had it for so many years. 
and uh, I was very. But you went into a marriage. I know. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. But it, that, that's and I've. It's been. Uh, I've been struggling to get back into that, or or to get into the thought of marriage like that. And okay. uh, she's been uh, with me through it all. And uh, has it caused issues? It has. It has. Yeah. What's your take on all this? Therapy. Have you all been going? Independently. Independently. So we've never seen like couples counseling? Um, myself, yes. I have um, I know for a fact that there is always room for improvement, especially like me. It's my first time getting married and um, I really was like an amateur coming into it financially and sure. emotionally. So um, I actively uh, seek therapy right now i stop good. going to my therapist well, not good because i lost my job yeah so i don't have that insurance anymore you have not hopped on to e old man's i insurance. don't think i will though why um for the same reasons i was uh prolonging applying for unemployment i'm, I'm hoping that i can find an employer sooner than later uh do something if needed i know i can count on fernando i've kept been able to count on him during this hardship 100 percent. he is taking on his weight my weight um mm -hmm. the choices that we've made independently financially he's taking on um both of our weight uh and to be clear i only have fernando's financial documents in front of me so i don't have yours because we're so separated financially and i just don't have yours so i don't have the full picture yeah. i have half the picture yeah. Here. So I mean, we can definitely talk about some of the things. I mean, uh, I'll ask how we got into certain situations and stuff in a little bit. But first okay. to start with, I mean, this, I'll be honest, this scares me um, in terms of the future. This is your credit card, right? Yes. This is Merrick Bank. Never heard of, but with that, we have a current balance of $1,146.98. And again, what actually scares me with this is you were past due $38. Yeah, that's a payment so that was kicked back. and Because um, you didn't have enough in your checking account? Y yes. Because we are going to go into the checking account and there are overdrafts on this checking account. Mm -hmm. Why are we in that situation? Is it, the, is it the lack of the dual income household? Or, I mean, we were already separate to begin with, so were you not managing your finances correctly? Yeah, so to begin with, I wasn't managing my finances correctly. Yeah. And then uh, when the Apple situation happened, I uh, I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was to take on uh, additional bills. Do you guys have any savings? Not anymore. Uh, uh, when, you, when you're fired off, when you're fired, though? You I had, had very little. little. I had like $1,000. Yeah. And nothing from you? No, I mean, I have... A few hundred bucks on uh, M1 yeah. account. But Not having an emergency fund is an emergency. And this is showing why. Because, again, you're losing $29, 7 cents in interest. But there's a $38 fee of just missing payments on it. Now you made a $100 payment. That's lovely. But you went and purchased. So I, I need to know off the bat, why are we possibly purchasing on a card that is losing interest and we can't even make the minimum monthly payments on? Why are we putting more money on it? So, I mean, I... There's a backstory I've, to it. Yeah, so I've, I've been living, uh, I guess I'll, I'll borrow from the future. Um, and that's what the credit cards come in. So I'll, I'll pay the credit cards. And I mean, it's a reoccurring, it's a common reoccurring cycle where you pay the card. And I think it's common for most folks, but I don't you have pay credit the card. card. You don't? No. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I have student loan debt. Ah. A lot okay. of it. <laughs> so not so good. We'll talk about that. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so well, I'll just pay the card and then uh, I'll try to not use it for some time. And, uh, and then after paying some bills from a week's worth of uh, income, I'll, uh, I'll uh, figure out that I have I don't have enough money left for a tank of fuel. So I'll use a credit card for some fuel. Or uh, even to grab a bite to eat or something. So let me guess. We are not budgeting. No. 
going into this conversation, I need to make sure this is even a conversation worth having. So right off the bat, are you guys willing, I know you're willing from the sounds of it so far, but are you willing to come together, have a joint checking account, have, okay, this is our money. Here's our goals that we've discussed, and we're going to meet these certain objectives to hit the goals together. Are we willing to fully combine at this point? I yeah, so 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 we have fully combined. Uh, we have a joint really? checking account, yeah. um, and we we uh, actually. But neither the thing about that is that neither of us have received our debit cards yet. Okay, well, I mean that'll that'll happen. What? Well, yeah, that'll I mean, come it's, at some it's, point. It's been about what, like a month or two, month and a half. I haven't made Who's an effort bank? to request Chase. it. Um, yeah, just go in. Have some, some people around. <laughs> I I mean I have a Chase checking account. Like yeah. that'll come in like. a with uh, like a week. Yeah, if, I've if never had issues like, with Chase before, but yeah, no. this is the first time. Time to. So, do you consider his credit card debt your debt? Yes. Do you consider her student loans your debt? Absolutely. Okay, good. So that that is a good place to start with. Were you all aware of each other's situations? Has the communication been pretty open in terms of where he's at and where you're at? I think for the most part we were aware of it, but we uh, we it's something that was like in the back burner. Okay, so. you say no. In, in my heart, I believe that he has been trying really hard to take on most of the responsibility. Yeah, for as long as we've known each other, and a lot of the times, even if I have like money or employment or opportunities, he's always um, willing to like take on more responsibility and has taken 90% of, of our expenses on his back. But with that, we're missing payments. So we're missing payments on credit cards. And then, Oh, I can't see the purchases that were on. Here. We've moved a lot. Why have you guys moved so much? What do you, what, what does that mean? What's a lot? So part of the reason why I think we've both dipped into our emergency funds multiple times is because like just the past year we moved three times. Just in the past year from where? What what has been going on? From Texas to Colorado, from Colorado to Texas. And recently um we had another move in Texas. Why? So the the line the construction I do it's it's industrial. Um so a lot of times those companies will be finished with one project and then they'll open up a project in a different location so then we have to move there we end up having to move there a company helps cover this no have you considered looking for a more permanent local job in a place that you both like yeah so so we've both agreed that this is our this is the last time we move here okay. to austin and uh this is what where we're going to make our stand if you want to make your stand, make your stand and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 750,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I love you guys so much. Okay. So going, continuing to go through this. And again, by the way, you're over your credit card limit on the last one. Credit card limit of 1,100. You're at 1,146. Now we have another card prosper. On this prosper card, we have a new balance of a thousand with a limit of thousand one hundred so basically at our limit now we had a previous balance of 945 this went up even though you made a payment of a hundred dollars we had 94 dollars of purchases more fees dude more fees thirty dollars of fees and twenty three dollars fifty three cents of interest and again why are why are we possibly purchasing on a card po i got i need to know the logic the logic, like even just from your debit account, like what's what's the we're putting on a card that we can't afford to pay off, and we're having these fees. Yeah, I mean, it just goes back to what I just told you, where I'll uh, I'll make a payment on the card, and then I'll pay some other bills, and I'll run my bank account dry. And but it's not even important. It's Tpioca, Melindo, RGB something, and ATX Asian, and more RGB. It's bull. It's bullshit spending. So it's you're, the money that you're putting on this to raise the overall deficit that you owe comes from bullshit. 365 market, that was only 215, so it's probably walking in and getting a drink. That was probably bullshit. 
Chevron was twelve dollars. Okay, so maybe you got like a quarter of a tank of gas, you know, a third maybe. But everything else on here was bullshit. So the logic, if that was what you're saying, were okay. I don't have enough money. My bank account is dry, and I need to make purchases in order for us to survive. So I put it on a credit card. I can at least understand that. But you're losing interest. You're not able to fully pay it. We have fees charged, and you're spending it on bull. Why is the bull being spent with money you don't have? So for that particular time, I had my daughter here in uh, Austin with me, and if uh, if, we, if I could show you the the other months, I w I don't have spending like that. But for the time that she was here, uh, I did treat her out and stuff like that. How old's your daughter? She's twelve. I assume you don't want her to have to take care of you when you're supposed to be retiring, right? Yeah, not at all. Then this is not worth it when just one trip. We need to make progress, get you out of debt so we can get to a place of retirement so that when you can barely, you know, change your own diaper, that she doesn't have to. That hopefully we can get you in a position where you're not dying on the Walmart floor because you never saved enough money to be able to afford rent or mortgage or whatever it might be at that time or food something as basic as food because you guys are young we're basically the same age we don't know what social security and benefits are going to look like when we're older we can't rely on that by any means do you guys have anything in retirement i do how much i have a little bit on e-trade i have a little bit on um what's a little bit on a trade, I have seven thousand. Oh. On um, my IRA account, I have three thousand. Okay. So. And you? Ten thousand dollars is what I'm gonna have for when I need well, diapers. Ten thousand dollars, very behind, but I'm glad there's something. It means that you've put the effort forward to at least start. What about you? Just what you have on my M1. Yeah. Okay. Maybe add a couple more hundred to that. Do you have any more kids? No. Do you have any kids? No. Okay. Are kids in the future for y'all? Yeah. Kids Maybe. together. Okay. Well, I that think becomes... we need to get our finances in check before we talk about that. Sure, because you're essentially like two hundred fifty thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars, whatever the amount is today. You know, kid from eighteen plus college. You know, it's like you're signing up for that, and if we're already in the the debt situation we're at, you know, it becomes scary. And again, you're spending it on bull. Even if the daughter's in town, I don't care. I want you to be able to be able to retire at some point. Yeah. yeah. Right I mean, now, we can't even afford to live. You're overdrafting and we're bouncing on payments. Yeah. So tapioca is not, first of all, it's not even good boba. Second of all. It's good. I think it's my favorite. From no, all the ones not. I've tried. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a single moment. Credit one. Credit one's rough to see because the moment I see credit one, I know that you're essentially just in the world of credit cards because it's like the bottom of the barrel most predatory evil credit card company ever i hate that card no it's terrible and i want first of all i just want you to close all these cards close them they don't exist you know you can't use credit cards whatever impact to your credit score i don't give it i don't want you to have the ability to rack up more debt trying to go get some terrible boba i don't want that to be an option going forward and especially credit one, we're closing because you're getting these fees, $12 every single month. And again, we're not even making payments and we're overdrafting. So, um, but with this one, what I am happy to see here, though you're making minimum monthly payments, you did not purchase anything. So for first car that you did not purchase anything on, we have a new balance, $351.35. There's no reason. Well, I don't know your guys' rent or anything yet, and we will get there. But in my mind, 300 $51. If we had met at some point in previous months, re even with life happening the same way it has already happened, I could probably adjust your spending in different budgetary actions so that this would not have existed today that with that low of a balance in today's money. I can advocate for him and tell you that he doesn't spend on himself. He could be needing jeans. He could be needing like a haircut and he would rather um, put it towards our home Mm -hmm. um, our needs or uh, family. If anybody were to reach out to Fernando, I can advocate for him that he's there for people. I have no doubt that uh, 
you know, either of you are great people. I mean, this is not a judgment of great people. This is just the finances and the Financial. action around that. So I have, there's no doubt in my mind. Now with the fees, you'll have $70 this year so far in fees because that's why this credit card is just evil and then $60 in interest. And all these, by the way, have been basically 30% interest rate. Mm -hmm. Bright way with a one main. Okay. Here we have $899 on a limit of 1000 it went up from the previous balance. Why? Because $159 of purchases. Again, this is a habit we need to destroy. We're closing these credit cards. It just doesn't it doesn't exist anymore. These cards just don't exist anymore. Your future is more important than whatever it is you purchase on here. And we're about to take a look. You made a minimum monthly payment, and the minimum monthly payment is lower on this at $27.55. And no fees on this one good. So, yeah, you made the minimum monthly payment. $18.75 of interest. Again, 30%. Death interest rate. The purchases. Car wash? Do we need to be going to the car wash? We're trying to get out of debt. We're trying to live. Do we Do we care if our car I has dirt on it? About that. Huh? Yeah, she was getting at me. What, um, As she should have. Oh, wait. About the dirtiness of the car or the payment? No, about getting a car wash. Yeah. Yeah, well. I'm on her side. <laughs> Uh, the car wash is actually the first time we washed our vehicle since we came back from Colorado. Your vehicle. You didn't wash mine. Do you live in an apartment complex or house? A complex. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we washed both of our vehicles. Um, Do you own a bucket? I have a five-gallon bucket, yeah. Lovely. I have you can look news. at my vehicle outside. It's dirty. I have good news. One, doesn't matter if your car's dirty or not. Who gives a Just make sure you can see outside of it. Two, bucket, soap. Cloth, whatever. Have yourself a nice little car wash outside. You know, get bubbles going. You know, we're looking sexy. We can all wear like speedos and stuff and do like slow motion bubble fights and stuff. That's a great way to do it. We don't need to be paying twenty three dollars to do this. I think the world would pay me money to not be in speedos. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, grocery. We did a grocery shopping trip. Hundred twenty two dollars at HEB, and it looks like we filled up a third of a tank again. So. That's money I would I just don't want spent on a credit card because the balance is going up and it's getting closer and closer to that max out. Then you're going to get to that point where the interest and fees come in and then you're above the max out thing like you already were on that first card. Okay, so that's all of your debt, correct? I think so. Was that uh, how many cards was that? I have four. Four, I think. Merrick, Prosper, Credit One, Brightway. Don't you have like more than that? Uh Mission one, I think. Yeah. Which one do you guys share? Credit one. Oh, the evil one. Mm -hmm. I hate that one. I, I, there was a month where I was late, and they were calling me about three, four times a day, every oh. day, until I paid them. We, we just can't be late, man. This is not a thing. I mean, I get it. Trust me, I don't think I'd ever defend credit card or credit one in any situation. But it is the money that you borrowed contractually. Right. right. So I get it. We thought about that too. Do you not have a car debt? Because I swear there's a big car debt. And yeah, that yeah. was my choice. Yeah, it's yours. What is it? What is the car? 2020 X1 BMW. BMW. People on the show and their BMWs and going to debt for BMWs. Just so you can be the worst drivers on the road. Always the BMWs. Mm. What? So I was driving a Nissan Sentra, um, and then when me when we moved to Colorado, um, Fernando was on a project that required him to commute like about an hour into the mountains, like on the outskirts about, of Vail. About an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And um, he did experience a couple of situations where his two-wheel drive was mm -hmm. just not... Spooky, it. spooky. So we ended up like going to Ford and it was a trade in. And I was, I don't know anything about vehicles, but I was between that one or the Tacoma and I went for the BMW. Well, Americans will find any way to justify a car purchase. You could have gotten one that was five years older. Now, used car prices are not great, especially when you went and got this, they're even worse. He didn't want to do it. I, I, it was my yeah. You got a car decision. you definitely did not need. What's the balance on this? What's the overall balance on this being like fifty six? 
56, 57? 56. 56. What's the minimum monthly payment? 1,140. Oh, my f I've never... 1,100 what? 49. Oh, you poor lads. Oh, f literally and figuratively with this kind of car. I know, one of the worst financial decisions that I've made. He tried to talk oh, me yeah. out of it, and I said no. And I went after he was at work. I went and I said, yes, I will take it. I will do it. And I think I used the excuse as that much as people he needed rent. it. Now we're paying the price financially. Yeah, I wasn't sure. looking to the, like, I wasn't looking at the possibility of me being unemployed. What's the term length on this thing? Six years. <sighs> What's the interest rate on this? 15%. Six, I think. Yeah. At 16. Oh, death. Absolute insanity. Death. Do we know the value of this car today? It's Half probably, of it. it's probably a. 8,000, 20, 25. My life. Okay. What's your student loans? I have like about 18 loans and... Oh, they're all federal? Yeah. Okay, what what do they all equal together? Like around 50,000. Okay. Did you go in-state? So I went to South Texas College. Okay. And then I went to And you're to from Texas, born and raised? Yeah. And the, the, what was the second school? Pan American. Where's that? It's in South Texas, like. Okay, so both close in to state. Mexico. Yeah. So expensive. So are now you, I'm doing it online. These private? Now I'm doing online private school. How are you guys paying for this? So Apple was paying for it. Was? How yeah. are you guys paying for it now? That's a good question. I haven't figured that out. I will When's probably get due? more loans. So my master's program was $10,000. Mm -hmm. And they um, didn't pay any of it. Because, Apple didn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to first finish my grades and then oh, they would no. reimburse me. I, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, these are all federal though. No private student loans? It's all federal loans. Okay. Some's going to be subsidized, some's going to be unsubsidized. I'm guessing the rates are going to be either way. Uh, between four percent to seven high sevens percents close to eight now you're in your masters these are going to be deferred until you're done so you don't have to worry about the payment starting back up luckily because you know jobless situation doing this how much more time until you have this master's degree three semesters okay including the one that we're starting right now i just wrapped one up are, but you're, are you doing a fall semester? Um, so I'm going to start one in October. Okay. And that's one of the three. Okay. In October. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm glad you're getting it in a degree. That's great. Um, in general, I mean, you ask what high yield savings account I use, and that is SoFi's high yield savings account. The rate recently went up to 4.5%, and I'm taking advantage of that high rate all day. And with bonuses all the way up to $250 when signing up and getting direct deposit, I mean, I had to take advantage of that, and so can you. So check out my affiliate link in the description below. It's the one I use, and you can use it as well. MBA, you said? Correct. Yeah. No, I'm happy with that. If we can find a way to cash flow it, it'd be great. These were subsidized loans with low interest rates. The ROI is going to be great. You could still potentially have a good ROI with even unsubsidized ones, but the thing is that just the, the balance overall is just racking up so much. And if we add another $10,000 to this, it, be, that just, it starts to just become a number that's a little too big. So the 50 includes a $10,000 loan that I got for the MBA program. Oh, you already took it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Checking account. Is this the joint checking account? Is it the premier? If it's the premier, it, then Sapphire. It is the Sapphire is the where I'm single, single account. Started with two dollars. I can show you like my bank statements or whatever you like. Okay. Started with two dollars. Ended with negative twenty dollars and sixty-seven cents. Yeah. Ruined me now. We have Apple, but so okay. You don't spend money on yourself, I hear. Uh, which okay, I believe that in general. But what are all these Apple bills? You must have subscriptions like 
yeah, crazy. So, so I do have I have uh, the the memory. The yeah, the storage, extra storage. storage for Apple, yeah. and uh, I have a YouTube subscription through Apple, mm-hmm. and, uh, and then the Apple Music, mm. and I think that's uh, that's about it. Hmm. We can listen to ads for now. Well, we're trying to get out of debt. We can listen to ads. So we have those. What's foreclosure.com? So that's part of, uh, that's, that's a website that I use to, to find pre foreclosures and foreclosures. Do you purchase houses? So I'm, I'm getting into that. that that's where. No, I'm, no, you're not. I'm uh, learning to get into that. You can learn some of the education stuff. I'm not thrilled with you paying for it now. As we have terrible debt that we can't even get out of and can't even make minimum monthly payments on and we're going into overdrafting. So it doesn't make sense now. More Apple subscriptions, cash, uh, Apple Cash sent out, Amazon, $41 of purchases, and Apple Bills, and more prime corporate thing, prime corporate thing. Can I? Akima Digital LLC. That, so that's a bed that we got last year. Finance, this is another debt. Yes, but I just finished paying it off this month. Oh. Just the mattress. Good job. Good job. Yeah. We don't have furniture. We do a lot of um, fixing and flipping and dumpster diving. Okay. Do we make good things for that? Good monies? Sometimes, yeah. We'll mm. we'll pick up free stuff and we'll make sure that it's clean. And uh, we'll resell it either on OfferUp or on Craigslist. Sure. Waterburger. Do we need to be spending $22.77 for a mediocre burger? It's the best burger in Texas. What Sir, you okay, about? you brought me donuts, <laughs> and I will say those donuts were absolutely incredible. But now I'm judging your taste of food. <laughs> Cash shopping out, money's $25. ATX Asian, we're going out to eat a good amount. Amazon's coming in. Public storage, $203 of public storage. What the f*** do you guys have that needs to be in storage that's worth paying $203 when we're overdrafting and we're not even making minimum monthly payments on card? More yeah. cycles. Yeah, so we did have some uh, some stuff that we brought from Colorado, but how many uh, motorcycles do you guys have? Two, two. Sell them. I'm not even kidding. I don't give a shit about any hobby. Right they're now. not like new motorcycles, and yeah, they're not but, worth a lot. But do you owe money on them? No. no. Sell them and put them towards the credit card debt. You're not making payments on the credit card. We don't get to have things like this right now. We don't. I want you to get to the place where you could have a thousand motorcycles, and they're all brand new. Let's get there. Right now, we take the sacrifice, sell them, even if you only get a few hundred dollars for it, that pays off a couple cards. Almost. We've been selling electronics. We're like selling electronics. everything. We're selling everything you guys do not need. Yeah, like our... And you do not need the motorcycles. Like our TV, our computers, and... Okay. The motorcycles are thrown into this equation now. Especially because we don't need the $203 of public storage. That money cannot be going towards... Yeah, so I'm actually getting out of that, and my brother's taking over my storage. Good. And sell, sell you're not you're not gonna sell them, are you? You should. I have a, a strong emotional attachment to mine. Uh, I've I've bought It's a sold. piece of metal. I know, I know, but uh yeah, I don't I'm weird like that. Yeah, let's be weird by you not having a bunch of debt like the average American though. I prefer that kind of weird. There was a situation where I lost my wallet, like I just dropped it and it had the title. So I like the motorcycle mm. was like a thousand dollars and I don't have a title for it. So that's part of the reason why we haven't sold it. I've never had to look into getting a replacement title. It might just be something to look into because I actually don't know. Yeah. But uh but we we sell it if we can. Take five. Take what five, what is that? Take five? I don't know. It's hundred and seventeen dollars. Take five. Looks like a potential gas station because it's numbered. I don't even know what that is. You don't know where one hundred fifteen dollars went when we're, about, when we're about to get to overdrafting on this account. You oh, right, right, right. Take five. That's a five-minute oil change lube. Okay. Okay. Texbex Petro. Those are taquitos because they're only a couple dollars, so I highly doubt that was necessary spending. Amazon. Amazon. Apple Bill. Apple Bill. Apple Bill. Amazon. Amazon. There's the bed again. Amazon. Amazon. Netflix. Canceled. Eh, they don't even have anything good anyway now. Oh, yeah. Apple, Apple. We do buy some toilet toiletries on Amazon. Depends. Usually what I'll do is I'll do a walk into our local stores and I will look on Amazon. And if there's a better deal in a book buy, we'll buy our toiletries. It better Amazon. be 
better deal all year, more than one hundred twenty dollars, because isn't that cost of a Prime membership? So it better equal that minimum to be able to justify. That's right. And by the way, you have to have more subscriptions because these. How many of these Apple bills have I read off? Someone's purchasing gems or something online. You, we've, we've gone like $100, $150 of Apple subscription bills or one-time payments. I don't know what they are because they always just say Apple bill. But someone's just purchasing bull or the subscription you don't know about. I did buy some books. Um, library. We have a great library system here. You can't afford things right now. Go to the library. Buddy, we pay so much money in property taxes here. Take advantage of it, please. Uh, the books were for me for school. Oh, they're school books. Yeah. That's different. Through Apple Pay? Uh, so it's linked to the account. Yeah, so... Uh, like, so he'll send... Like, the card is linked to Apple Pay. Okay. He'll send money to me for those purchases. Overdraft, $34. Overdraft, $34. Overdraft, $34. And then you're sending some money to Robinhood, or you have a Robinhood subscription. You can't be doing that if we're overdrafting. You just got f***ed with three overdrafts. Yeah, I, I cut that off. And you try to contact them and be like, yo, I messed up. Yeah, I, I already cut Robinhood off. No, no, no. Did you contact Chase after the overdraft? and like, yo, I messed up. I'm sending money right now. Try to get it reversed. Oh, uh, I haven't. No. Oh. I haven't. Probably too late. I did do that last time, though. And they, they were actually good, nice enough to give me 100 bucks back. Yeah. No, yeah. they can be. You just have to actually do it. This is the joint checking account then, right? Yes. And we started with $10. Not much better. $143 is what we're ending with. So much money came in. Sephora, we're not affording Sephora right now. Dirty Birdie, we're not doing. Starbucks, we're not doing. Bath and Body Works, we're not doing. Lush, we are not oh, doing. Oh, that was me. Timu, we are not doing. Dick Sporting Goods, Timu, we are not doing. Play-Doh's Closet, Bunt Cake, Halal Wings, Juice Land, Teaspoon, we're not doing these right now. We can't afford it. We have no money. We can't even pay our debts, and we're overdrafting. Halal Wings and Jack in the Box. We can't do it, guys. This is not in the budget anymore. It do are we at least are we aligned on that 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 is no longer in the budget? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Because that is critical. Now again, we can look at some of your stuff. I don't okay. have your stuff in front of me, but what with need? what we have right now, transportation spending was thirty four percent of your income. That's a disgusting or of your spending thirty four percent. Going uh, getting groceries sixteen percent, eating out basically ten percent rounded. Shopping unnecessarily, 5.5%. Unknown shopping, which is like Amazon or Target or Walmart, where we don't 100% know if it's going to necessities or not. Pretty much all Amazon in your case, almost 18%, guys. 18% of what was spent was from Amazon. Amazon! How are you having no reaction to this? That's insane. Yeah, well, I've, I've, on Amazon, I have bought some tools, too, that I need for work, including these uh, overalls, which I use for work as well. Out of, you have so much that you cannot afford... We're sp most of this is just bull. Nothing's even like great on here, and you're still spending too much compared to what you need on even just regular groceries. And yet, the payments to your debt only 1.5% of your spending. 1.5% of your spending. When you have these disgusting interest rates, we're choosing to only put 1.5% of our money towards it. Yeah, I also have another truck. So the the truck that we went over. Is there a debt on yes. that? What's the truck? It's a 2012 Ford F-150. Oh, you are a Texan. Mm -hmm. You that got works. your Ford because you got to haul stuff back and forth like a man. There you go. Do you actually use it? A lot, yes. Okay, because you're in construction, so that actually makes sense. Thank you, guys, because most people just have to compensate. What is the total balance owed on this Ford F-150? It's around twenty three five. Uh, 2000 uh, or 2000, uh, 23,500. 23, yeah. What's your minimum monthly payment? Seven, 720. Oh, kill me, guys. And your interest rate on this? You're going to kill me. Oh, no. That's that's around. That's my debt alone. Oh, f okay. We'll get into that. What's sorry? What's your interest rate? That's that's uh, I think it's around 11%. Payment term, how long, how many months? Five five years. Okay. I just saw a very big number that you just showed me. That's my debt. That's, that's the including the BMW. Can I take a little peek? 
yeah, I I guess I went up to sixty thousand dollars in student loans, <laughs> or fifty somewhere around there. Miss payment, miss payment on the BMW, yeah. guys. I got fired. I know, but we're missing payments. We do, we need to change things. Uh, yes, you got fired, and that's when I start. That's when I can understand things. But again, ten percent of our spending went to eating out. We were moving. We moved twice. Oh, we moved come in, on. We moved in May. We we were not like we didn't have a kitchen. We didn't. It's have a anything. ham and cheese inside a cooler type situation when we're trying to survive. Though we're not missing payments. We're not trying to get a car repossessed. We moved from Colorado. We moved into an apartment that was filled with roaches. Mm -hmm. So then we moved to another apartment and within a month. So those three moves and me getting fired happened in less than six months. Dude, I get it. It's absolutely shit. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to get us to a place where we're no longer making excuses and we're just taking accountability for some of the things we have. We signed up for the debt, missing payments, potentially getting the car repossessed if you miss enough payments. You're right. We've, we did choose still eating out in that moment. Yes. Of course. Going through that shit, I would never want anyone to go through that. I mean, that's terrible. That's terrible. We still chose to do the more easy option of eating out, especially I when did. we were in the probably worst situation to go spend money eating out. So that's just the student loans and car combined? And Equals uh, that much? Yeah. Is there something else I'm missing? You are free to look through anything and ask um, questions. Well, I should say, and I know this is, it's getting intense and it's reasonable for it to be because I need you to know how bad this debt is and how bad some of the actions surrounding it are. But I will also say at the same time, thank you guys so much for being here because you're putting your situation on display for hundreds of thousands of people, which means you're helping people out there who are headed down your situation. You might be in your situation. So you're helping people and then hopefully how? we're helping you as well. That's how? a question that I had. Yeah, because if people are in situations like yours or heading towards situations like yours, this conversation where I'm trying to help you get out of it can also, they can follow the same type of advice and try to get out of it themselves and get inspired to get out of it too when we have our eventual follow-up. And if you guys follow what we end up talking about, you can show that the things are possible. So it is very helpful to people out there. Yeah, I was wondering what type of value you were offering to the watchers. Yeah. Not only to us. Yeah. No, absolutely. I get it. Of course, there are people who watch it for um, entertainment purposes as well. I mean. I had two mental breakdowns that's before right. getting on screen with <laughs> about <laughs> Fair enough. Well, money, the talk around money, dude, it's like the most stressful thing. And then when it comes to marriages, it's the number one lead in a cause of divorce in this country. So it is totally reasonable to be anxious about it feel any kind of emotions towards it that is totally reasonable it is my goal here to make sure you understand that that 10 percent of food uh-uh we're missing payments uh-uh making excuses uh-uh and making you know how bad the situation is so that we can then take take the hard work necessary to get out of this situation and kick some and have an amazing life going forward your student loans have to be about sixty five thousand four hundred eighty. From the math so, of this. So on top of, okay. Anything that says Nelnet is a student loan. Yep. Now, if we go over to pay down your credit card debt. So I have the credit card that's shared with Fernando. Yeah. That's 351 in credit okay, card Okay, so $65,000 mm -hmm. student loans then. Because so, what I did was I took the overall balance that you owe minus the car and that left us with the student loans. And then now minus that 350 from the credit card, you are essentially $65,000 in student loans. So here you can see, like, I have, like, a couple other small things. Really? Yeah, here it is. Oh, oh, go oh, no, I see. Collections. Yes, five accounts in collections. When did you go into collections? Oh, no, 2023, 2022, 2021, 2019. Starting to get a little older. And then 2023 again. So 14. I was happy for you for not being in credit card debt, but I feel like you weren't in credit card debt right now because your credit card debt went to collections. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. There was one credit card that I had. 
Mm -hmm. And that one was 1500. Well, and then what were the, all these other ones? Like the 176 and the 286 and the 789 and the 888. I think they're sold off accounts. Yeah, but like what were they? Debt like with Verizon, debt with T Mobile. Why didn't you pay them? So I've been living paycheck to paycheck for some time already. What were you making at Apple? Do I have to disclose that? I guess not. Can you give us a range? 60000 Okay. Married for two years. How long have you guys been living together? For longer than that. For about four years. Okay. I mean, you're close to the median household income of Austin, Texas, just by yourself, if that was your around salary. Mm-hmm. I, if we, if we properly budgeted, you would not have been living paycheck to paycheck. There was a lot of moves. We've moved six times in the past the moves four are hard. years. The moves are hard. But again, I feel like, I promise you, if I sat down with you and we budgeted on a month-to-month -month basis, you would have savings on we the side. No, budgeting. no, I know. That's what I'm saying. If we had a budget, you would not have been paycheck to paycheck. Correct. We were paycheck to paycheck based on our overall living and spending choices. And that's even with the moves... If we had savings, which I would have baked into the sa uh, into the budget, uh, savings, we would have had the money to make the moves regardless. We do have a savings account. We have How a much? savings account with uh, Canvas, the bank that we have the truck loan with. And it's a high-yield savings account. And more than once, we've taken out What's in the it now? full amount. Just a few There's bucks. Nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. What's the yield on that? Five well, I guess it is. 4%. 4.5 with SoFi, link in the description below. Get that bonus up to $250. But I get it. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, your Verizon bill is expensive, 179 through your statement. And then we, of course, have insurances and we have loan payments. And gas, $417 of gas was spent. Lots of Costco spending. That's me. I I spend a lot on groceries. So the way that we had been handling finances when I was employed is uh, Fernando would take care of the rent and um, he would take care of his phone. I'd take care of my phone and my vehicle. He'd take care of his vehicle. And um, I would take care of all the little stuff like the light and the internet. Okay. Five sixty eight from Amazon. Groceries. Five sixty eight from Amazon. One hundred ten from Apple. All those Apple bills. One hundred ten bucks. Then Netflix. Nothing to retirement. About twenty six dollars of taquitos. Then the subscriptions you have. We have some Grammarly, Amazon, Soda. Grammarly is mine for school. Okay. It's definitely a very good service to take advantage of when it makes sense in context. And I guess in your situation, it does. It does. Amazon, public storage, Southwest Golf. Okay. So we put everything in the storage just to try to get rid of the roaches. Get rid of the roaches. Yeah. It, but we're in a better place now with all this, correct? Yes. yes. So okay. we're going to get rid of the storage. Man, that just numbers. happened like two months ago. Do you have anything in collections? I do. I do. I have... Uh, this never ends. We're so far into this episode, and we're still talking about new debt. Okay. Yeah, so I have around $9,500 in uh, collections for a loan I received back in uh, 2019. How long has it been in collections? Since 2020, I think. It's only a few years. Your collections was like 1000 total oh, across no, those? Maybe 2000 It was about 2000 My collections, yeah, I do have. Once I went to the ER, and that 888 went to collections. And oh, then I saw that on there. T-Mobile and Verizon went to collections. And why did I end up owing so much? Even though I was making payments on my devices on both occasions, I ended up racking up a lot of debt for the mm -hmm. devices that I either didn't return or owed. Well, that's okay. It, I mean, that's in the past. It's already happened. I'm. I judge financially what is done now, and okay. the car payments and stuff that we have now. I'm not going to judge something that's already happened. You're a human. You learn. You grow. That's totally fine. What we need to do is figure out how to address it. With these collections, what are your guys' thoughts on them? 
you can let them fall off your credit in seven years. It will f*** your credit until then. And a lot of yours are only one years old. Yours is only three. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to get rid of my collections. Um, it is, it, I think it is holding me back a lot. What's your opinion on this? I wish we weren't in this situation. <laughs> Do you want to kill the collections or wait for them to fall off, though? I want to take full responsibility okay. for everything. We actually have done that in the past where we start killing other collection accounts and then we just one way or another end up. Mm -hmm. It's like we're in a rabbit hole. Well, let's get you to a better situation. Flat out. I need to know the income. Your average across all side hustles these last couple months, what does it look like on average on a monthly basis? And what do you bring home a month? So a month... Well, every week I bring home uh, around 2000 A week? Yes. Take home. Wow. So uh, 2000 times well, 52 So take home 104000 oh, There is no reason we should be in these situations. Okay. So on a monthly basis, that averages out to 8666 On average, what do you bring in? I'm currently not employed no no but you you gave me like a thousand side hustles that you're doing are we not making anything from those if so that's okay i just need to notate what our average income to work with is i've only gotten like a couple hundred dollars these past few months okay so eight thousand six hundred sixty six is what we have to play with and then anything you can bring in is just bonus yep. we'll think of that essentially cool rent what's rent we're talking household numbers now not i pay this i pay this what is rent 1400 no it's 15 1500 Utilities, including internet? Internet is like about $100 a month. And the rest of the utilities on top of that? The light right now is like 170 180 Gas? We're actually bringing the internet down to around $35. Yeah, Fernando just changed providers. He changed it to Verizon. Okay. From Spectrum. And gas? Gas... Um, uh, for the for the vehicles, gas for the apartment. No, it's no gas. It's no okay, so utilities one fifty one ninety five. With your new baked in internet price, so like gas hours. was insane on here. The spending. What That's do you think we? Commute. Yeah. So on average, both of you combined gas. What do we think? During these moves, I worked from home, so I really didn't have okay. any. Um, yeah, most, obligation to most move of around. the fuel usage comes from me. Uh, I live 30 to 40 minutes from, uh, or we live 30 to 40 minutes from Tesla, depending on traffic. So, um, so does your where they go 417 sound about good, average? Average, that's right. a lot, but you make very powerful income, okay. And we'll do the debt payments, but car insurances, both of them combined? 245. It's not crazy. And you're just going no health insurance right now. I don't have health insurance. And you're doing no therapy? You know, you could have uh, what unemployment. So you started pursuing that? I did. I had three weeks ago. I applied. After a I month heard back? that um no, not yet. Um, after a month that I was like unemployed and had not like gotten any interviews yet, um, I did apply for unemployment and they said that would take four to six weeks. I was going to say you could have gone on the exchanges as well, the healthcare exchanges and got like zero dollar healthcare. Mm -hmm. I don't know though. Cause we're a combined household. Do you guys file separately or together? Taxes. So uh i have a uh right now last year did you guys file separately or together i haven't done the taxes for last year yet oh my gosh what is happening guys you can't okay i'm turning into the joker here y'all y'all let's buckle down come on we can't do this going forward i right. agree we're, we're just we're just around too much Have you gone through a process to at least see if you will owe or get anything back? You're right. So the reason I haven't filed for the taxes last year or I haven't filed the taxes, um, I haven't done my taxes is because somebody stole my identity and they were using my uh, mm. 
my uh, social security social yeah. security out in California. Have you locked your? No, I have not. Lock it. To do it that. You did lock your credit. Oh, good. good. Yeah, he did. That's what he's talking about. That he locked his credit. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Sorry, continue. Yeah, so so they were filing. They were getting their unemployment check in California under my name, and uh, the reason I found out is because I got the letter in the mail. He is paying for, extra too, like out of his paycheck, in order to try to not get that debt to escalate. Mm-hmm. He is he is paying um, an extra deduction from his paycheck. Do you know what you owe on taxes, though? No, no. Have I you don't. contacted the IRS I've to have not. a conversation about this? No, I've not. Risky, dude. If there's anyone we don't, it's the IRS. Mm-hmm. They come in, pew pew pew, guns a blazing. They they will garnish wages. They will garnish wages, mm-hmm. and you guys do not. You have wages to garnish. You just don't have any wiggle room right now because we're again not making payments and three overdrafts. So, okay, jeez, did you pay your taxes last year? File your taxes? No. Okay, so we were gonna do it jointly. If you start bringing in a lot of money from these side hustles, by the way, set aside thirty percent for taxes. Let me add up your debt minimum monthly payments. So even when I was working at Apple, because I was paycheck to paycheck, I was doing the side hustles. Um, but now I'm hoping to bring more income. I don't want to settle for the side hustles because there's I'm, I'm unable to plan financially in mm-hmm. such a way. So I've been trying to either get hired by somebody or... Yeah, we'll talk about that. I mean, honestly, things you could do. I'm glad you're getting an MBA. That's a very worth a degree. I'll give a shout out to Course Careers for people looking to get into tech. Is you are you're looking more on the business side, but it's a good certification program to get into there. Um, so shout out to them because I, I really love them. I've seen such good results from people I work with here. But are you you say you're applying to like a minimum amount for unemployment? For jobs, I need you full time, full time and a half basis. You are sitting on LinkedIn and it just becomes ingrained in your eyeballs, that homepage. Dude, you're applying for jobs every single second of your life right now. Yeah, I this got the premium option. subscription, so I'm able to try to do direct messages and I have been actively using. Okay, like, but uh, from what we talked about at the beginning of the conversation, though, it sounds like you're not doing it very much, not as much as you can. You wake up, you're applying through breakfast, all the way through dinner. You're just applying. So and honestly, and this part sucks, you're going to hate this part. Well, how many hours a week when the semester is going are you spending on school? So I start my studies from like 4 p.m. up to maybe like 10 or 11, 12. Okay. Sometimes I'll even pull all-nighters. It depends on the assignments. It's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. When are you doing homework? Every day. We don't go out. We just we're just home. So we, it's either like we're applying, we're taking care of the home. And you just I need you to spend more time just applying to jobs. We just need to get your income up right now. Like what do you, what were you gonna do if you worked at Apple during the school time anyway? Like how are you gonna have that amount of time to work and do school? I was. Okay, so you should have that amount of time right now to go to work at a coffee shop for fifteen dollars an hour, right? Yeah. Okay. You might I hate it. it. It will feel like a step down. It is a step down. You won't be there forever. The more money we make right now, though, as a group, the quicker we get out of this debt, the quicker we're to just a financially stable place. Right now, again, we're overdrafting. There's no room to not be working whatever job we can. That might be a coffee shop. That might be a water burger. You like eating there? Lovely. Might have to work there. We don't have over an overdraft option in the shared account. We're not. I know, but still, on his... It was three overdrafts and not making payments on some of the cards. I'm saying if we are in that situation, we just need to make more money. Correct. Okay. And cut down spending. Your debts, $2,176.55 on a monthly basis. Subscriptions, however you want to put them, I'm going to give you $30 a month subscriptions. Put them where you need them. He paid for my Grammarly for the whole year. And other okay. than that, I don't. Yeah, I do have the Netflix right now that he's been asking me to disconnect. I you, haven't. You guys have thirty dollars a month. Put it where you want it. Thirty dollars a month. Phone. 
Verizon. What did we see? Verizon. 179. Phone we bill. don't share phone like the account we have. So you have additional? What's um, your additional? So I pay $100 for my phone line and um, I share it with my mom. And um, we came to terms that she's going to pay her line. I'm going to pay my line. 50, 50, like $50, 50. So dollars. I was, I was paying for her phone line, but now that I'm not employed, um, she's going to, she's been taking responsibility. For what is she, what did she send you though? 50 bucks. Um, so I tell her she can send me whatever she can because I was working, but, um, okay. Then I'm not going to include it in the budget. Her, her giving you money if she does again this is extra but if i can't she makes like thirteen thousand a year yeah so if i can't you know no it's gonna be in the budget then we're not gonna put it in the budget any other minimum monthly expenses you guys must have in order to live must have i think toiletries and groceries a good amount of yeah, my paycheck sorry, will go to toiletries and groceries like we're spending at least 150 dollars per week yeah grocery I wish we weren't, but if you go to like Costco, it should be off brands, Kirkland brand, mm -hmm. great value. Like it's like five, 10 bucks, five, 10 bucks. It can be a good way to do it. If you, especially like, <clears throat> I do a lot of shopping around if we do like, okay, we get the toilet paper this month and that's going to last us for three months. And the next month we're getting this utility that we have to have. Uh, and then, so, I mean, we can make that in the budget the way I'm going to do it for groceries. And what this is going to include is not a lot of everyday cooking. It's going to be including batch cooking that we are doing for meal prepping purposes. So a lot of the same recipes that we're batch cooking and warming up on a daily basis, this is how we get through it. And this is how we do a tight budget while we're in bad debt. We're doing five hundred dollars a month I in groceries. Cook every day, almost. Well, I think it, that's a more yeah. expensive way to do it, though. Individualized meals versus meal prepping. Mm. But you can, hey, 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 dude, if you can do it, go for it. I'm just saying this is an easier way to make that five hundred dollars stretch. So it's it's totally up to you how you do it. That's so, so just a suggestion. So five hundred dollar budget a month. Groceries only. Only groceries. The groceries. Toilet paper. Yeah, that's doable, right? Well, mm, I is. don't know about toilet treat. No, we no, no. Oh, I'm giving you a budget for that. Toilet paper, paper towel, toothpaste. Makeup, blah, 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 $200. Generous, by the way. That does sound generous. Yeah, I don't really wear makeup or like. I'm giving you 150 because you yeah. agreed. Okay. Any other expenses? Speak now because this is your budget. So we have the um, groceries, the toiletries. Mm -hmm. We have the vehicles, the insurance, the rent. Mm-hmm. Gas, the utilities, phones. phones, debt payments. And every week I contribute maybe fifty bucks to the M1 account. How much is in the M1? I think currently there's about five seventy. Okay. What you guys need to survive on a monthly basis is four thousand I'm sorry, five thousand four hundred and ninety two. Your checking account, I think we should close it. Ha in whatever checking account you have, I think we should close it as well. Let's have the one joint checking account just to start, and then we can evolve from there. One joint checking account. Lovely. Then we can have a joint savings as well. Let's just start from there just to make things easy, because this is your budget that we laid out, and it's $5,492 on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah? The reason why we're getting joint everything right now is because, guess what? With your income net, without including anything coming from you, you have an extra $3,174 left on a monthly basis, following my budget. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's video sponsor, Aura. Are you sick and tired, just like me and everyone else, honestly, of receiving endless spam calls every day? I mean, look at this. Let, let me open my phone. Look at this. This right here is all spam. It's crap, except for one friend. There's one friend phone call. The rest is spam. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. But with Aura, they can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to. But they make it super hard to do. 
Let Aura handle that for you. Aura also does a lot more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You can get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other things with peace of mind. Go to Aura.com forward slash hammer or check out the link at the top of the description below. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this episode. There is no reason, no excuse why any overdraft, any missed payments, even half of this debt should even exist at this point. And honestly, grad school could have been cash flowed if we weren't already in the situation we're in. I got a loan under the impression that um, I was just going to pass the classes, take it, take the bill to Apple, get that money back. No, of course. Since they paid my bachelor's degree. And that's yeah. what we did. Uh, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm just saying in general, like, okay, you got laid off from Apple. Even with your income, we could have if we were in a position mm -hmm. where we were just smart with our money beforehand. So I will give you the plan to get out of it. Will you follow this budget? I will. I, I can't say verbatim, but uh, for the most Why? part. I, no, I mean, I, I just have to. Uh, I, I mean, for the most, I think I will. I think I will. But there are some things that I, there's just a thing about me where I provide a little bit of resistance. Okay. And you? <laughs> a little? <laughs> But, uh, oh, hey, I think this is going to be very important uh, for the money going uh, for just the financial situation going forward. I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost. We'll see what different things can cover. But couples counseling once a month, two hundred dollars is what I'm putting in there. Talk about the money. This is going to be a difficult situation, and it might take a while to get out of going through counseling, being held accountable, and being able to communicate through this properly is going to be very important. It's going to be critical to make sure there's longevity here and not just you do this for a couple months and then fall back in old habits, okay? Yeah, she's actually been trying I to I really like to, you if you can convince them to go to counseling. With have I convinced you? I put it in your budget. She's been trying to get me to do it, but I... I I'll tell you to go f*** <laughs> yourself if not. I mean, just do it, man. There's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah. What's I your mean, resistance to it? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't think I need a counselor to help me evaluate my head. Maybe you don't, but maybe you as a couple do. It's not just about you. You're in a partnership, my dude. It's not a one man operation. I don't think that if I wouldn't have started therapy like in 2019, that, that I would be able to be here. Um, going to therapy, um, I strongly believe has really helped me figure out not what's wrong in my relationship or what's wrong in the world, but work in the areas that either I have hidden or work on the things that, that I have in my own heart and in my own mind. Me too. It has allowed me to be a better person for my husband, for my stepdaughter and for those that I love and don't love. Me too. Therapy is important. It's great. I've had major benefits from it, so I like that. So I'm a big therapy advocate, Good. and I hope that leaving this channel, we're able to also find growth. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But speaking of the stepkid, by the way, anything on a monthly basis you need to provide for that? Child care, anything? It's, it's automatically... So, so it was taken before yes. the net. Okay, cool. So now, in order for you to survive, because we are going to put that in, and you're going to go to it, you do it, $5,692 on a monthly basis, what you guys need in order to survive. Sounds like a lot of money, but because you have a powerful income and just yours alone, 2974 is what you guys have left on a monthly basis. What I need you to do, you said you have 600 in the M1 account, or 300, what was it? Five, 550, 570, 570, 570. For the next two months, and I'm just going to say two months just to make it easy, just to give a little wiggle room, don't wiggle too much, follow the budget, learn it, cool. Two months, every single penny of that 2974 2, that you can is going right into the savings. Any high yield savings, I don't care, I use SoFi, use whatever for the next two months. Then you will at least be at $5,692. That is a one-month emergency fund in case you lose your job. 
or anything bad happens or medical. You have a one-month emergency fund. You never had an emergency fund. A lot of the situations we're in today is because you did not have an emergency fund. You did not have an emergency fund together. We did not have an emergency fund. Not having an emergency fund is an emergency. So we have a one-month emergency fund so we don't get f***ed completely when we get f***ed in the outside world. Okay? So internally, we're a little more safe because we have a one-month emergency fund. Lovely. Month number three we're headed into. We are paying with the $2,974. We are paying off immediately credit one. It's gone. $351. It's dead. It no longer exists. Congratulations. Credit one. Go f*** yourself and close that card because it's an evil card. You're also, you're also paying off Brightway. $899. Lovely. It's gone. Guess what? Because you have a powerful income and you're actually budgeting for the first time in your life, you still have $1,724 left. You're paying off Prosper card. And these balances will be a little less as long as you're not spending on them right now. But just to make it easy, just to see how you can do this, we're just using the balances that are on them right now. Prosper's paid off as well. So that's three credit cards in one month. Month number three, three credit cards are killed. And guess what? You're paying the majority of Mission Lane as well, bringing it to a new balance of $320. Now, what's great about this is guess what? Of the $2,974 you have now, the minimum monthly payments that were going to those three cards that you paid off can now go towards attacking more debt. So the money that you now have left over is, congratulations, $3,114. That's what you guys have left over now. We're obviously paying off that 320 of Mission Lane. This is the beginning of month number four. Mission Lane is dead. Next smallest, we are going to attack Merrick. $1,000. $146. Merrick is dead. We still have $1,648 left. This is all on screen, by the way, so you guys can watch back and actually see this because I know I'm going pretty quick. But, okay, so this is where things start getting a little interesting. Student loans, it's a huge one, but it's in deferment. It's your next biggest debt, but it is in deferment at, this, at that point. What's that Ford F-150 worth, do you know? Last time I checked, it's around nine to 12000 Okay. So we're just going to have to pay off these debts. Mm -hmm. You guys like these cars enough to keep them? I mean... I love my truck. Yeah. Okay. Because the interest rates are death as well. Since you do financial audits and probably have um, come across people in our situation and your experience... How can we get rid of like the BMW without affecting our credit? Without affecting your credit? Yeah. Because um, we would be okay with getting a vehicle that's just like, we've had vehicles where you pay like $1,000, $2,000 and it's just a cash vehicle that's an old yeah. vehicle. We're okay with that. Um, it's going to affect your credit in some way. Because I mean, the way you would have to do it, and I think the gap might be a little too extreme to do it right now. What would you that do? you wouldn't make any progress. Well, what I would do is I'd probably pay it off. But what can be done if the balance of the BMW was like much closer, if it was like thirty or forty thousand dollars, you could sell the BMW, get that money, borrow twenty thousand dollars, let's say, to pay the rest of it off, and then uh, on top of that money that you borrowed, probably within the same personal loan, borrow an extra five thousand dollars, get a cheap beater five thousand dollar car that is mechanic approved, and say we'll get you somewhere safety. I don't give. A as air conditioning or not at this moment, it'll get you some more safety for a year or two. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. And you pay that personal loan off aggressively, which is now a smaller loan. And then you save up to get the next car in cash, like $10,000, $15,000. But the worth of these cars are so low that the money you have to borrow to make up that gap and the additional money to go get a car, a new car that's cheaper, you're almost going to be paying off the same amount in the end anyway. So it's like, it becomes really difficult where it's like, if you like the cars enough, Let's just pay them off. Because you got them in a, well, you got the BMW at least at a really bad time when the car market was like, mm -hmm. used car market. And it has come down a bit. It's actually seen a decent decline these last couple months specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's not anywhere near where it was before. It's difficult. Yeah. Look at the value of the car, see if the math makes sense. But if not, I think we're probably just attacking it. Yeah. It's worth about $20,000. So it you could save about $10,000 then if you wanted to sell it. Uh, borrow the difference plus an additional ten. You get a ten thousand dollar car, so you're gonna instead of paying fifty six thousand dollars, you'd be paying forty six thousand dollars. So if that's worth it to you, what I would one hundred percent do in this situation now that we've paid through these debts, all the credit cards are gone. By the way, in this situation, what were we in month number five? Yeah, we're middle month number five, I think. 
No, middle of month number four, right? Okay. Yeah, middle of month number four. All the credit cards are gone. I would sell the bikes. You can get more bikes in the future. I want you to. Sell the bikes. Everything else right now. We're leaving the collections for now. Let them hound you. I don't give a We're leaving it for now. Because they're not accruing interest. And there's not many monthly payments on them unless you've negotiated something. We The Ford F-150. Everything is going towards that now. Including what you can sell the bikes for. If it's a thousand, just two thousand, three thousand, whatever. I don't care. Any amount of money helps. It'll get you there a month quicker, two months quicker, you know. So it's great. So now we're going to be going into month number five. You now have three, one, four, three thousand two hundred thirty-one dollars left on a minimum monthly basis because you've killed the minimum monthly payments on the credit cards, which is really cool. And the remaining of the last month's money you put towards the Ford. I'm going to say the Ford is worth about twenty. Uh, you have to pay off about twenty thousand dollars now. That's going to take six months. So. 11 months, we finished 11 months, and the Ford is paid off. 11 months. 11 months in the Ford, 11 months in total, you have a one-month emergency fund, no more credit cards, and you're closing them because you can't be trusted with them. That's okay. You're not credit card people. You're average and normal, and the Ford is paid off. That's at 11 months. That's less than a year. See how much progress that is? That's incredible. You're smiling. I hope it's a good smile because that is actually really good, yeah? Our goal is um, coming here and... Together, I strongly believe, is try to make progress. And I, I think that we can stick to a budget. This is very helpful. Maybe not counseling, but <laughs> <laughs> as close as we're going to get to counseling. No, I put day. it in the budget. You're going. F*** you. You're going. I hope. You're going. She wants you to go. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Yes, give it a shot. Now, That's all we can He's been there for. once. Try it. Can you, for me, try it for a quarter. A quarter. Once a month for a quarter. Okay? All right. Just try just for the future. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and that's okay. But if it works, that's incredible. If it doesn't work, you've lost nothing. But if it works, you gain so much. And the lost opportunity of just not going because it might not work is huge. I strongly believe it will just be a, at least a learning opportunity. Like we'll learn yeah. more about ourselves and about each other. Yeah, and, and then just healthy communication as well is very good in this. Hey, guess what? We paid off the Ford. We now have... That sounds crazy. 11 months. Yeah. $3,951 is left over. $3,951 is left over on a minimum monthly basis now. Now we are going to attack not the student loans yet, the BMW. It's going to be at about $50,000 at that time-ish. Divide that by... That's going to take another year. So let's just round it up and say two years. Two years, both cards are gone. We have a one-month emergency fund, and every credit card is paid off. Two years. But during these two years, you're just you're not bullshitting around. We're not eating out. We're not going crazy. Other people can treat you, but we're not. Now, what does this not include? This does not include you getting another job, adding more money to this equation. This does not include you bringing in extra money and bringing it into the equation. This does not include you getting in a raise and bringing that into the equation. That could cut this down from two years to a year and a half to a year, depending on what it is. If you double the household income through an amazing job that you land, you know, there's a lot of upside here. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is a strict budget on what your situation is right now. So we can get there quicker. That's why you're applying for jobs like it's a full-time job. At that point, um, student loans will probably need to start being repaid Anything above 5%, I would pay off as quick as possible. I'm going to say that's about half of it. So that's probably going to take another six months because you all of a sudden just had an influx of $1,199, uh, $1,149 a month that you now have because you don't have to put it towards the BMW anymore. So I think in six months, you can pay off anything above 5% on the student loans, the high interest. And then let's call it another six to nine months. And you have a fully funded six month emergency fund. So three years to three and a quarter, three years and a quarter, three years to three years and three months. And you're completely out. Not completely out. All the bad debt is gone except for the collections. And we have a fully funded emergency fund. After we have a fully funded emergency fund, then I would wipe out the collections over the course of just a couple months, just a couple months. So. Let's call it three and a half years, three and a half years. All debt is gone except for the low interest student loans and you have a fully funded emergency fund. Three and a half years, not including any increase in income or new job or you bringing in side hustle monies. That's awesome. 
What do you do from there? That'll be a conversation we can have at that time. But in broad sense, we need to catch up on retirement for where you guys are. You're investing minimum as a household or individually into your own retirement accounts, but you know, for the household, 25%, maybe even closer to 30% of your income a month on retirement. Then you can have 20% going towards fun. And then no more than 50% of your income should go towards your needs. If you can keep your needs lower, let's How say much for the needs, no more than 50%. You'll want to invest 25 to 30%, probably 30 to start playing catch up. And then whatever's left over is your fun money. So if you can reduce your needs, you can have more fun, but your minimum doing that 25 to 30% investing, probably 30%. You don't boost your needs and decrease your investing. That's not a thing. You decrease your needs and you can boost your fun. So that's where we're at, at that point. Cause you guys need to start playing catch up immediately. We are, we're in our mid to upper thirties at that point. And it's time to make sure that daughter-in-law or son, daughter, daughter daughter-in-law and future kids huh, don't have to take care of you guys when you're old and wrinkly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys look great for your age. So I don't even know if that day will come, but Mm -hmm. either way, long conversation. That's a lot of stuff to dig through. What, what you need to walk away right now, knowing sacrifice follow the budget pay it off in the order that we talked about get that one month emergency fund first it's gonna take a couple months to do sacrifice no more both planning we're budgeting we're working as a team a collective this is you guys are your own little communist on like you know empire <laughs> in your house you share the wealth of you two <laughs> mm-hmm. and then you give it to the debt companies for a while. And then you guys are going to be multimillionaires by the time you retire. If you follow this, at least $2 million, I'd say pretty comfortably as long as you guys are investing in just good things that I will not advise you on. Sounds like a plan. What do we think? What do we think of all that? You made a lot of sense. Uh, We really appreciate the clarity and the sense of direction. Um, Coming in, like I was sharing with you, I wanted to gain an understanding about what value were you uh, giving to others mm-hmm. um, that are watching. And what my takeaway is that that maybe we're not the only ones who are in like racking up so much debt and then paycheck to paycheck despite us making a six figure income. Yeah. So hopefully um, we'll be able to. Did you walk away? Hopefully seeing the value as we see it. I I'll get back to you in three months. <laughs> I want to make sure, because one thing is to say it. We want to make sure that we actually put it into practice. Yes. All that all that happens from here is you guys at this point. Correct. There's nothing I can do. Correct. So hopefully I gave you the the plan, the directions, the map. Do, you, you, follow do you follow up or uh, like check on anybody that you've absolutely given so this is what to? i usually say off camera afterwards but i'll just say it to you guys now you know all throughout this process it's not a here come film and now off type thing it's not that you keep in touch with everything updates questions everything and we will help along the way completely and then when you guys are feel like you know you want to do an update or maybe you're falling behind or you've made progress and you want to talk about it then we will do an update as well so that's up to you guys when you guys want to do that but you do not hesitate for one second for any questions or updates or anything like that you reach out to us i think we can uh, put it on our on our calendar to try to make it a goal to have an update when the debt bad debt is killed yeah i mean we said 11 months would be uh, the credit cards the truck in a one month emergency fund. So I want to see you guys in 11 months with that taken care of. That would be incredible. That would be life changing for you guys. For sure. For sure. I like that. We, yeah, me too. We've been struggling with having like a uh, middle ground on common goals. Yeah. And you're going to go to couples therapy for at least three months. You're going to try it. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'll try it for sure. Good lad. Good lad. Any final thoughts? Thank you. Thank you. I think I think this was good. All right. For Fernando and Abby in their household, Hammer Financial Score, obviously it's going to take a lot of sacrifice and it's going to take a while, but strong income and more money should come in. 
they've got this. For their hammer financial score for the household is they are a married couple spending their budget with the overdrafts and missing payments. Go on, zero out of 10, debt. Some one of the worst situations we've ever seen. Zero out of ten. Emergency fund. I'm glad there's at least a couple hundred dollars there. Not great, but that's a one out of ten. Investing. Thank you, thank you to Abby because she has lifted that up to at least a one out of ten, maybe even a two out of ten. Let's be generous and say that. Fernando, you need to start investing as well. Real estate. Zero out of ten. Not a part of the picture right now. Hammer Financial Score rounded to 0.5 out of ten. Make sure to check out all the resources in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations.